when I read the script, it just came off the page in such a unique way. I think maybe because it's a true story. Um, it has this kind of detail about it, authenticity. I think Stephen as well, the writer, <coughs> being an actor in a past life, writes very, very well for actors. Um, he doesn't patronise them. He gives them exactly what they need to do wonderful performances and doesn't overdo it. And as a result, I think the film is, the script, is very unusually, almost entirely without cliché, even though um, it could easily have fallen into cliché, I suppose. And I think the other thing that really got me was that it's a very um, important story, if you like, but told by and large through comedy, so it's very audience-friendly and takes an audience on, an, on a quite an important journey without feeling preachy. Um, and I think it uh, is an emotional story without being sentimental, which is also a very rare find. My journey was meeting the real people and then very quickly going um, to the village in Wales where it all happened and seeing people there and the, the actual welfare hall where the LGSM had turned up um, at the village. So I loved all that. It was a... Um, I grew up in a village myself in, in North Yorkshire and in a way it was a kind of return to the kind of community that I understood growing up. So I felt at home, the film is very suited to me, I feel very at home in both communities really and, and it's enjoyable to, to, to help them collide in as effective way as possible. I was looking for people who could feel natural, authentic, detailed, truthful. Um, we just felt real so it didn't become stagey or actory or feel over-scripted or artificial in any way. It was a real concern of mine and, and that uh, strategy spread of course into other aspects of the film like design where costume, hair, set design there could be a temptation for dealing with a period like the early 80s to slightly enjoy the extremities of both communities, to point a finger with a wry smile, and we wanted to definitely avoid all of that. We wanted to be sympathetic, and um, yes, we were, it, it was important to be, uh, to not shy away, particularly with LGSM. They were, uh, if you like, what's so great about them, there's such an odd bunch of people, and the odder they are, the better the collision when they turn up in this village. And um, but but we didn't want to patronise either community. We wanted to just make it feel kind of like a documentary in a way. And um, uh, it's a strange film because it's stylistically it's got a mixture of um, quite theatrical big ideas and big moments. But it's also honest, it's not overly romantic. It kind of behoves us all to think big uh, and to dare to do something on any level, anything that we care about, uh, even if the reality is defeat or inconclusive uh, or progress seems limited. Uh, it's these small steps, it's a very human story, it's, it's really a small story, it's about small things making a difference and it's not about grandeur or glamour or heroism and I think that's an important message. George Mackay is such an expressive you know, young actor, his face um, just with a look, you know, um, can just say so many things and he's immensely good value whenever he's in the scene, in the foreground or the background. Um, he's got a sort of, he's got just the right amount of naivety, vulnerability, he can communicate that really well in his role. Ben kind of glows uh, in the film. Um, he's a, a fascinating actor because he is very intelligent and the real Mark was clearly extremely intelligent. person could win every argument, enjoyed winning every argument that he took on, apparently. And um, Ben is intelligent and that really helps that kind of thoughtfulness, seeing life as a problem that needs to be solved and decoded. And 
Um, so he has all of that, but um, he has a certain kind of flair and um, just energy, delightful energy, that's sort of addictive as well. They willingly turned up and they uh, very quickly, we, we had it almost like an acting ensemble uh, in the best sense of the word. And I think the older performers <clears throat> found it, well, I know actually they found it quite energizing to be with the younger actors. And conversely, the younger actors were uh, in awe, really, understandably, and um, excited to be acting alongside them and, and, and really to live up to those, to, to, to somebody like, uh, you know, well, Bill and Imelda, they can, um, and not only them, there are other people I can name as well, but their, their skill base is so deep and their maturity is so, of acting is so deep that, um, that maybe I think it encouraged very high standards across the board. I think it, perhaps it did.